Hi you guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how you can make your very own uh, YouTube screen recording videos. In my case they're startle makeup videos or um, graphics tutorials, but for you it can be anything you really want. So um, there's going to be two videos. In this one I'll focus on how you can download Cam Studio and the lossless codec. And in the next video I'll show you how you can really capture the videos and um, put them into Windows Live Movie Maker and from there into YouTube in high quality. Yep. So Cam Studio is a free um, screen recording program. It's the best free one out there. If you're just a hobbyist like me, I wouldn't suggest you buy an expe expensive program just for this purpose. So. The link is camstudio.org and I'll leave it in the description. The web page looks like this and when you scroll down you should find the two download links. In this first one, um, it's for the Cam Studio, the program. The latest version is 2.6. Just click this and it will get you to this other page. I've already downloaded mine, so I won't show you all the steps exactly how to do it, but yeah. When it asks you if you want to run it or save it, you click run. Um, right now it's asking me for an administrator password, which I have, but if you don't have one set, you don't need to type one in course. Then a, um, a window like this should open up. This is the installer. Um, this is what I won't be showing you through in detail but you just keep clicking next and next until it's loading and it's done. Yeah. And when it's done it should create a desktop icon for you. It looks like this. You double click it and a Cam Studio window should open up. If it doesn't, in the end of the video, I'll show you how you can fix that or if you get this error 1401, which I got. Yeah. Now I'll show you my current options and in the next video, I'll talk about more the options for. A start all makeup video they're just slightly different but now I'll show you the options I currently have yeah in region I have fixed region it's like the size of the in pixels like what you're gonna be recording from your screen mine is width 640 and height 360 it's it's the exact width and height of the YouTube smaller box so please don't enlarge it if you watch this video it will look much better when it's small yep okay when you go to options for video options in the compressor um, it's the lossless codec v1.4 v I'll show you how to download it after this the quality should be set to 100 and everything else is in what it was by default. If you click configure just check that it is set to LZO for fast encoding used for screen capture and the level should be at 6. Click OK and OK again. Another thing if you if you want to record sound like I'm doing now I don't usually do that, but if you want to, I'll just show you my settings. When you go to audio options, of course, select um, audio options for microphone. Yeah, if you want to record your voice for music, it's a different thing. Yeah, audio capture dis device, select your device. I, I recommend you to have your own microphone. Um, a headset or one that stands on your table in front of you. Me webcam microphones are not so good um, as these other ones. So um, the recording format, 
best one I find is 44.1 stereo and 16 bit. Yes, that's pretty much it. Everything else is again in what it was by default. Click OK. Um, yeah, if you if you're recording from microphone, check this. Otherwise, you'll just speak and it won't record you. Yeah, if you want the screen or the size, the the thing to move, you click enable auto pan and the auto pan speed should be set to about 40 yep but if if you want to keep it still and move your mouse and the window mo won't move uncheck it yep and this is very important when you go to program options you must set the directory for recording into a user's specified directory because otherwise it will save it into some other place that you'll never ever ever find it from. Uh, like ever. I've done that and I've lost like so many of my videos. Just remember to keep this checked or all your effort will be gone. Yeah, if you want to um, yeah, if you want for it to ask for a name of a file, you check this, ask for file name. Yeah, and also check ca capture translucent and layered windows. It will, if you've had, if you have a lot of windows on top of each other, it will show all of them and not just the one on top. And that's pretty much the settings. Um, yeah, obviously you press this to record and this to pause the recording if you need to take a break or something and this to stop recording. Yeah, if everything I just told you, the installing, if, if it all worked for you, you can stop watching now. Um, I hope this helped you and if it did, please subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. Yeah, and now I'm going to show you how you can p get past those few errors which I had um, they mostly occur if you're running Windows 7 64-bit or either Windows Vista in some cases first off for the error 1401 when you open Cam Studio you you should download this Microsoft Visual CC Plus package from Microsoft yeah it's it's necessary but it doesn't come with them this program it doesn't come with cam studio when you download it but it is necessary for it to work some computers have it and some don't so if you get to error get the error so then you just download it and it should open up with no problem it did for me and um, it took me a long time to find this so I'm glad I can share this with people. Yeah. And the other thing was that when you go to video options and you se select the compressor, you've installed lossless codec the way I just told you, um, pretty much normally, but you still can't find it here. I also had that error and that took me another couple of hours to find a good fix. So this is how you do it. Um, you open a notepad file, na program, yeah, and then you paste this text in it. I'll leave this in the descriptions as, as well as this link to the package. Yeah, you save this as a normal text file, what it gives you by default. I called mine lossless codec fix and I saved it in my desktop so I can easily find it. Yeah, once you've done that, you press start and in this um, box, run, I think it's called, you write regedit. R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Um, open it up and it's called the registry editor. 
Now, I don't really know what this does in theory, but it shouldn't harm your computer that ha hasn't harmed mine in any way. It looks a bit scary, but um, it isn't really. It should fix the problem immediately. Yeah, I just clicked file and import, and then you find your file, your text file. From here, it says registration files. Um, um, you change it to all files, and then it will also show this. Here's mine. Um, I'm not gonna click open because I've already got mine imported, but you click open and it should go there. Yeah. If that hasn't worked for you, um, I really don't know what what you do after that. But I hope it did, and I hope this helped you. And again, please subscribe if you like this or. Yeah, the basic stuff. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever. Links are in the description. And thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Bye.